Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Brie the Coupon Queen. We are outside of Walgreens to do our haul for this week and of course, pick up my curbside pickup deal. There is a glitch going on online, so I will let you guys know about that as well. And there's lots of easy deals, all digital coupon deals that you can do in store, stock up on hair care, of course, oral care, and a couple other products. So if you wanna save money at Walgreens, figure out how you can coupon there, definitely stay tuned. If you are new here, take a second, hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell to all so you won't miss out on any easy deals that you can do every single week. I did just launch my new couponing workshop. I'm super excited. I'm not gonna be doing the individual classes anymore. Um, the last beginner's class I have is gonna be tomorrow, but I'm now gonna be doing the couponing workshop. It's gonna be a three-day event. It's gonna be live, but I will be recording them as well, so if you miss one of the classes or you're not able to make it, then you can watch the replays. We are gonna be co covering everything to do with couponing. It is now, more than ever, an amazing time to start couponing. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to make some money with couponing so you can have money for the holidays. Imagine what you could do with an extra 100, 200, $300 every single month. I'm gonna be covering all the basics and exactly how you can start doing that in that workshop. So it's gonna be November 8th, 9th, and 10th. The link to uh, reserve your seat is gonna be below in the description box. My goal is to help 100 people learn how to coupon and be able to start saving money and be prepared for the holidays. So there is also a printable breakdown, as always, linked below, giving you all the different scenarios that I'm doing in store, all the transactions and everything as well. So let's go inside and start taking advantage of some great deals at Walgreens. Now let's put together this hair care deal. So I'm gonna be doing this deal with my booster that I got for spend 20, get $5 in Walgreens cash. So I'll be getting that $5 back and I'm doing this deal for hair, spend 20, get $5 in Walgreens cash. I'm gonna show you a couple versions, one with paper coupons and one with digital coupons. One thing you can grab is the Garnier Fructis. They are two for $7. Clip this $3 off to digital coupon. You can also grab two of the L'Oreal L5. This week, they're just $3.99 each. Grabbing two would bring you to $7.98. We got three off two coupons in our 1017 inserts. That would make your final cost for these two just, what, $5.98 for two? But again, it's included in the hair care promotion, so I'll go over the final cost in just a minute. Here's another deal that you can add. I'm gonna grab two of the Tresemme. They are two for $10. Online, if you grab this kind, the bigger kind, they're actually $3.99 each online and they're still including in the deal. So whichever way you wanna do it, I'm gonna do it in store because we have a five off two coupon from the 1017 Unilever. If you don't have the paper coupons, you can clip this four off of two digital coupon instead. Then I'm also gonna grab one of the Garnier Whole Blends. They are just $3.99 this week. We do have a $2 digital coupon. There's also a dollar digital, so be careful. Make sure you're only clipping the highest value coupon. So let's go over our totals for the scenario that I'm gonna do. So these are all the products that I'm gonna grab. Total is gonna be $20.99. We have a five off two paper coupon, three off two digital, and a $2 digital coupon. Remember, you can do this all digital by using the four off two digital coupon for the Tresemme instead of the paper coupon if you want. I have $10 in coupons. I'll be paying $10.99 out of pocket, getting back $5 in Walgreens cash for this um, hair care deal and $5 in Walgreens cash from the digital booster. That makes it 99 cents for all five products. There's lots of good laundry deals this week. If you like Persil, there's a couple things you can do. They are part of a deal, buy two, get a dollar in Walgreens cash. So you can either grab two of the pods or you can grab one of the liquids as well. We do have a $2 coupon from our 1017 save insert. And we also have this $2 digital coupon. So buying two products brings you to $9.98. We have $4 in coupons. You'll pay $5.98, get back a dollar in Walgreens cash. Makes it $4.98 for both or $2.49 a piece. 
Here's another laundry deal anyone can do because it uses a digital coupon. So what you can do is grab a snuggle fabric softener. If you need dryer sheets, you can grab one of these. Or if you need some detergent, you can grab the all packs right here, or you can grab the all liquid right here. All of them are $2.99, so pick one. Clip the dollar off one digital coupon. That'll make one of the products just $1.99. I also need more toilet paper. So yesterday at CVS, I stocked up on the Scott paper towels. Now at Walgreens, I'm gonna stock up on the Scott toilet paper. They are $5 each. Then we have a dollar off one coupon from the 1010 Smart Source insert. Also, we have a $1.25 Walgreens store digital coupon. If the digital is no longer available, you can pick it up. There's a Walgreens booklet at the front of the store. It'll be there and the cashier should have one at their uh, register as well. That'll make one of these just $2.75, which is amazing. And I personally like this toilet paper. If you enjoy this video so far, take a second and smash that like button. Make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss any future content. Now it's time for our money maker oral care deal that you guys know we get almost every single week at Walgreens. This time it is for Colgate. So it is part of a deal, buy two, get a $4 register reward, and they're $2.99 each. So I'm gonna grab two of these Optic White, clip the $2 off one digital coupon, and we have a 50 cent off one digital coupon. You'll pay $3.49 plus tax out of pocket, or you can pay with Walgreens cash. You'll still get back the $4 register reward. Makes them both free and a 51 cent moneymaker. I'm also gonna be grabbing one of these Swanson chicken broths. This week, they're just 59 cents, which is more than half price. And I always try to give you guys a couple good options to use as filler items. So a filler item means there's no coupon attaching to this product. So I can use a register reward now to help lower my cost for my spend transaction that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm definitely grabbing one of these. I know I'll be using it for the holidays anyways. If you need cereal, definitely the week to stock up is this week. So at Walgreens, select Kellogg's are only $1.88. So here's two different options. You can grab two of the Fruit Loops for $1.88. Go to the Kellogg's Family Rewards website. You can Google it. Then when you sign up, you're able to print coupons. You can print a dollar off two coupon. Then you're gonna submit to Ibotta for 60 cents back each on this, giving you back $1.20. That makes your final cost 78 cents per box, which is incredible. The other thing you can do is grab one of these and grab a Frosted Flakes. Use that dollar off to printable coupon. Then you're gonna submit this one to Ibotta for 40 cents back and this one to Ibotta for 60 cents back. That way it gives you two rebates. So if you're trying for any of those big bonuses, this is a great way to do it. Of course, it is gonna cost you an additional 20 cents, but no big deal. Here's another great deal. You can grab this one. It's the better um, value because this one's 10 ounces. So grab one of these for just 99 cents. Clip the 50 cent digital coupon. You can grab one for just 49 cents. Now this is the best deal to do this week on this product. CVS has the same deal, but their digital coupon is only 25 cents. So the best place to grab this is at Walgreens this week. So let's go over some beginner transactions. So if you're new to couponing, these are some things that you can do. Grab two of the Colgate, that'll bring you to $5.98. Use the $2 and the 50 cent digital. You'll pay $3.49 plus taxes out of pocket, cash, credit, or debit. Then you're gonna get back a $4 register reward that we're gonna use in our next transaction. Here's what you could do for your second transaction. The Swanson's broth is just 59 cents and the Garnier is two for $7. We do have the three off two digital coupon for the Garnier. So that'll save you $3. Then you got a $4 register reward from the first transaction on the Colgate, which will apply to the chicken broth. So now you're paying just 59 cents plus taxes out of pocket for all three of these products. So if you're a beginner, your total out-of-pocket cash cost for all five of these products is gonna be just $4.08 plus taxes, which makes each of them less than a dollar a piece. Now let me show you the transactions that I'm gonna be doing. So this is gonna be my first transaction. I'm grabbing two of the toilet paper because I need to stock up on it, the Snuggle and the Colgate deal. 
So I am going to be using the $2 digital, 50 cent digital, dollar digital, the $1.25 store coupon is gonna work on both of them, and I have the dollar paper coupons as well. So I will be paying $10.97 plus taxes out of pocket. I'm gonna roll $10 in Walgreens cash, then I'm gonna get back a $4 register reward for the Colgate that you can use in your next transaction. So this is everything I'm using in my second transaction. So I'm gonna be using the digital booster for spend 20, get $5 in Walgreens cash. So total for all these products is $21.58. Then we have $10 in coupons. And I'm adding in this product because for my pickup order this week, I got a $7 register reward, which will attach to this guy to help lower my out-of-pocket cost. So I'll go over my online pickup deal and all the um, deals and coupons and stuff included in that when we get into the car. So I'm now gonna be paying $11.58 plus tax out of pocket, but I'm using the $7 register reward. So now I'm only paying $4.58 plus taxes out of pocket. I'm not using any Walgreens cash because this deal is a spend deal as well. And the total for these products is $20.99. So if I were to use even a dollar, that would make me a penny shy of the spend 20 deal. So that's why I'm not using any Walgreens cash in this transaction. So I'm also gonna get back $10 in Walgreens cash, five for the deal and five for the um, spend booster. That makes my final cost for this transaction only $1.58 plus taxes, which is incredible. Let's go check out and see how everything goes. All right, we're back in from Walgreens. I wanna go over my curbside pickup order first, let you guys know what I got. I only wound up doing four products online. I did the Colgate deal again, and I did the Revlon deal. So I got these two because um, I've been posting it on my Instagram. I'm gonna be Harley Quinn for Halloween, for our Halloween party. Um, my boyfriend's gonna be Joker, so Joker and Harley Quinn wear like a red lipstick. So I got these two shades to see which one like I like the best. I may actually come back and grab the satin one. I know a lot of you guys like that one that I wear from Revlon. It's not included in the deal or anything, so I would be paying for it out of pocket, but the shades they have for the satin that lasts a really long time, the like satin ink or something, love them. Anyway, so I grabbed these because they're part of the deal. They're $7.99 each buy two, get a $7 register reward. There is a $3 Revlon digital coupon. It's glitching and coming off twice. So $3 and $3. So you wind up saving $6, then get back a $7 register reward, which I used in store to lower my out-of-pocket cost. I also got back the $4 register reward as well for the Colgate deal. So for this alone, I'll show you guys my transaction. Of course, I used Rakuten, so I think I got back like another 75 cents from Rakuten, and I got back 11 cents in Walgreens cash. It wound up being a moneymaker transaction. So I got the Colgate and the Revlon. This is the $2 and the 50 cent digital for the Colgate. Here is the glitch for the Revlon. Paid $12.11 plus tax, used $10 in Walgreens cash, it only cost me $3.55 out of pocket. But then I got back um, $11 in register rewards. So it only technically cost, where is it? $1.11 plus taxes. But then I got back 75 cents from uh, Rakuten because I always use Rakuten first when I'm doing my online deals. And I got back 11 cents for Walgreens cash just for ordering these because you get back like what, 1% or something Walgreens cash. So it wound up being an amazing deal. Of course, I always have my spend 30, get $30 cash back scenario for Rakuten. It's for new users. So if you sign up with Rakuten with a new email that you've not used Rakuten with, you'll be able to get the deal when you spend $30 out of pocket before taxes and before shipping, you'll get $30 cash back. So that is an amazing deal alone, of course. It winds up being a huge money maker because then you're also gonna get back register rewards when you're doing the curbside pickup, Walgreens cash, it's awesome. So see the link in the description box for the printable breakdown. At the bottom, I give you a great scenario to get a ton of products, super cheap. So don't pay with Walgreens cash on that, it has to be $30 
before taxes, before shipping out of pocket. That deal also I don't believe works for Walmart or Amazon, but if you do like Macy's or Adidas, Nike is 10% cash back right now on top of the Rakuten deal. So it winds up being incredible. Then I did my in-store deal. So when I picked up my um, curbside, I got a spend 35, get $8 Walgreens cash uh, paper booster. So the paper booster and the digital booster will stack. So instead of doing the two transactions I showed you guys in store, I shoved it all together and I just did one transaction. Now, I got back a $4 register reward for the pickup deal for the Colgate, but I couldn't use it because I was buying the Colgate again in my transaction. And you cannot roll the same register reward into the same deal. So I just didn't use that $4 register reward. Otherwise, the second one wouldn't have printed. So keep a heads up on that. So I will update my um, printable breakdown for you guys so it'll show what I did. Uh, I wound up doing the whole blends, the Tresemme. I grabbed a Starkist tuna just because I want that for lunch and it was 79 cents, so I was like, whatever. Um, grabbed the Swansons for the $7 register reward to attach to, Colgate, Snuggle, and the Garnet Fructis. So the only digital coupon that did not come off is the Snuggle, so I have to call um, customer service for that. Then that digital paper, I'm sorry, that paper booster wouldn't scan. It just didn't print very well. So she wound up giving me $10 in Walgreens cash. Um, and it shows that right here. She wound up giving me $10 in Walgreens cash when the booster was $8 in Walgreens cash. So I got an extra $2 Walgreens cash from that. I added in the Scott as well. Both IVC coupons came off for $2.50 total. Then those dollar Scott paper product coupons still say invalid. They're still having issues with that. So she had to manually put that in. And the $7 register reward printed at the same time as that paper booster. So it just didn't print very well. So she manually added that in as well. Paper coupon, the Garnier digital, the whole blends digital came off. So the only one that didn't come off was for the, um, the fabric softener. So I did have to pay $20.14, including taxes out of pocket, but then I got back a $4 register reward from the Colgate. I also earned $20.38 in Walgreens cash. So it wound up being a moneymaker transaction, which is awesome. And I always wanted to make sure that I'm kind of keeping up with my Walgreens cash and earning it as best as I can. So overall, I'm super happy with everything at checkout. For some reason, the system was being so slow at checkout, it probably took me like 10 minutes just for it to load. Then she'd click a button. We'd have to wait like five more minutes for it to load. Then she'd click a button. Also, when I picked up my curbside order, typically register rewards print before the receipt, but that's not what happened. The receipt printed, but because they were having so many delays, it took like a good minute or two of me waiting and then the $7 register reward and the $4 register reward printed for the curbside pickup deal. So when you're doing curbside, I always recommend go inside because she probably would have grabbed the receipt and just hand it to you. And then you would have missed out on your register rewards. So always go inside to pick up your curbside deals to make sure you get those rewards back. If you have any questions or anything, always drop a comment. Don't forget to, sign, to join and sign up for the couponing workshop. I'd love to have you cut off for that. It's gonna be November 7th. And then it's going to start November 8th, 9th, and 10th. So it's a three-day class and you are going to be paying $30. So that makes each class only, in essence, $10 per class, which is cheaper for you guys than what I was doing for the individual classes. So I wanted to be able to give you guys more value and teach you the whole spectrum of couponing instead of kind of piecemealing it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you next time.